engineered restriction devices are often inserted into a closed pipe system to create a differential pressure for the purposes of measuring fluid flow rate. These restrictions can come in the form of an orifice plate, venturi, wedge, and other designs. Our illustrations depict an orifice plate application. To measure the differential pressure, taps must be installed on both sides of the plate. The upstream side will always produce the greater pressure and is referred to as the high side. Conversely, the downstream pressure will always be the lesser value due to the obstruction. This is the low side. The gauge's range is based on the maximum difference that can be expected as a result of the restriction. The dial will display the differential pressure in units of pressure measurement like PSI or bar. By applying the linear square root relationship between flow rate and pressure, the gauge dial can be scaled in a specified rate of flow, such as gallons per minute. A dual scale dial can also be created to display both the flow rate and the differential pressure. Another important consideration is the maximum line pressure, also referred to as the static pressure. The higher the static pressure, the more robust the gauge must be to contain it. That's why it's crucial to ensure that the gauge carries a static pressure rating that exceeds the highest pressure in the line. Ashcroft 5503, F5509, and F6509 heavy-duty pressure gauges offer reliable differential pressure measurement in high static application. Ashcroft F5509 and F6509 differential pressure gauges provide a static pressure rating of up to 580 PSI while the 5503 gauge can manage up to 5,800 PSI.